So you just got back from Japan, Heck right? Heck yeah, I did, yeah, absolutely. So it, October's always the big trip. October is the hands down most exciting time to go see corn. No doubt about it. So <laughs> So you live for October every year, huh? Oh yeah, man. It's it's I think everybody in the koi world looks for October. Uh, as we know, koi are put into these lakes or mud ponds over the summer, and that's the opportunity for these fish to grow and get big and massive and develop color because they're eating all this natural food, eating food that they're supplementing in. Um, they're in this very healthy, clean water, so it's a great opportunity for them to grow. But it's a mud pond, so you can't see the fish at all. Yeah, you don't right? get to enjoy their beauty, huh? So, uh, so the breeders are, are putting these fish in spring with all these great hopes and anticipation and visions of how this koi is going to turn out, but they have no idea what it's going to look like until we harvest them in the fall. So the harvest, we're harvesting them because it's getting too cold, we want to bring them inside. Exactly. So uh, these, these koi today all come from Niigata area and it snows really, really heavy up there. So we got to get them uh, into greenhouses before it, you know, the ponds are iced yeah, over. Yeah, iced over. Is it true we drain them? We? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we drain you them. You and I go out there. <laughs> we, we drain all the mud ponds and they fill with snow and then that snow melt becomes new, new water for them for the next season. Is that yeah, true? Well, the, the, the snow melt, uh, sends water down the stream and then they collect that water absolutely okay. all right good uh and so so yeah so we drain the ponds down we take these big nets and we sort of corral the fish all to one side in this lake and then we go out there sort with our hand, hand, yeah, pulling them, hand out. Pull them out into tubs and bring them into the greenhouse i'm doing that with you one year oh it's on my bucket list you is, know that right i know it is man <laughs> and it's it is like i say the most exciting time of year well show us some of the gems you brought home yeah absolutely let's take a look here. Um, it's really, really nice Kikokuru. It's got that very like uh, that shadow effect going on across right. its body. Um, nice white. And it, that, that changes in winter, is that right? Or Yeah, definitely changes. It'll, it'll, it'll be interesting to see. I have no idea how it's going to change this winter um, and what exactly it's going to do, but she's a, she's a really, really pretty koi. She's really pretty. Yeah. What else we got? Uh, let's take a look at this. There's so much to choose from out there. Kikusui. Yeah, it's, it's funny. This I can just pretty much throw my net in here and what find up? a beautiful fish to pull up without looking too hard. You have quite a selection right now. It's really amazing. So look at the massive body on this guy. Look how they complement each other. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So I'm at Marusaka's, and he's a very famous breeder for uh, metallic non-go sonke koi. He does pretty good sonke too, but uh, I saw I saw this koi, and just its massive body, its great body line, its huge head, and I I had to have her. Um, it has this really beautiful wrap that just comes around around the sides of it, and uh, interesting face pattern here, and I mean that that body. Uh, it's interesting because there's not much of a size difference between the two fish as far as length goes, but as far as width goes, it's, you know, they're not even comparable. Right. So you're just going from, from breeder to breeder during October, and you're not harvesting out of every place, but you probably have arrangements with a couple people. You get Absolutely. in the ponds, get dirty. Yeah, I have my really, my really good friends um, who I know I'm, I'm looking for specific fish for customers. Hey, when are you harvesting your goshiki? Yeah. So uh, I know when it's best goshiki are going to be available. You bet my, your life I'm going to be there that right. day that we're harvesting those. So I have the first opportunity to acquire these fish. Because, uh, you know, we have people from all over the world trying to find these koi. Right. And uh, if, you miss, if you miss that moment that it's harvest, someone's going to buy it. Yeah. Whether they're in Germany or Malaysia or a anywhere. Right. Or Southern California. Super cool. So uh, it's a good opportunity to, uh, to buy beautiful, beautiful fish. Um, let's get some more in here. Yeah, yeah. Let's want to put these up, back? Yeah, let's put those back. Okay. Let's pull up this massive Showa.